I don't care if you have a peanut farm in Alabama, a soybean farm in Iowa, a feedlot in Colorado, a vineyard in California, or a dude ranch in old Montana. I can pretty well bet there's a pickup or two involved in the operation. These trucks often get passed down. The owner drives it new, then the farm manager gets it, next the bunk rider, next the irrigator, and finally it winds up in the sheep camp. Me, I got an F-250, 390, three-quarter ton, four-speed with split rims, and it's got a B&W turnover ball. I like a pickup that looks like a truck, not like a tropical fish, or a two-ton poodle with running lights, or a mutant frog on a leash. Give me one tough as a cast iron skillet with a bumper that's extra large and a hood that weighs over 85 pounds. It looks like the prow on a barge. I like style, but since when should a truck be touted for comfort and drive? Power windows on pickups remind me of jeans with a zipper that zips up the side. They should soak up the dance of everyday life like a boxer losing his teeth. And I like a truck when you lift up the hood, by gosh, you can see the ground underneath. Pickups are kind of like welding gloves. Pock marks are part of the deal. Not pretty, just built to get the job done. Like the dummy behind the wheel. Don't get me wrong, I know beauty's skin deep and ugly is in the eye, but to find out if your truck is my kind of truck. Here's a test that you can apply. If you have a small wreck in the parking lot, by backing a little too far, your only worry is how big a mess you made of the other guy's car. This is Baxter Black from out there.